Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trying Recipes to Conquer. Today I'm going to be doing, for the first time, um, it is coconut cilantro lime rice. <laughs> I actually could not find a recipe like that, but for some reason that's what I wanted to do. Um, so I'm like, okay, I, I did find um, that I guess Chipotle uh, has um, cilantro lime rice. So but not with the coconut milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it that way. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna be using one cup of jasmine rice. I'm gonna go ahead and put, turn on my pan uh, heat here to medium high. Okay, so according to the instructions of the rice, uh, per one cup of rice, you need a cup and a half of water. But because I'm gonna use coconut milk, I'm going to use a cup of the coconut milk and half a cup of water. I really hope this works, guys. This is another one of my uh, random recipes that came to mind. And then I'm going to put a bit of salt here. I want it to taste good. And I am following the instructions on the back of the packet because this is not how I do my regular rice. I honestly eyeball everything and then miraculously comes out perfect. So, But for the sake of this show, I want to give you correct uh, measurements. So I did rinse off my rice. According to the package, throw the rice in there, stir. Let it come to a boil. Then I'm going to reduce the heat and then put the top on it and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. And the rice should be done. Well, the rice itself and then we add um, the flavor. All right, so it's come to a boil. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it one final stir here and reduce the heat. And then I'm gonna cover it. Let's set my timer for 15 minutes. All right, so I did chop, um, this is about, um, I would say, four tablespoons, okay, maybe three tablespoons, three tablespoons of cilantro, and then I have one lime here, which I think I'm only going to squeeze in um, half of it. All right, so the 15 minutes is up. I'm going to check to see if it's done. All right, so this is how it looks after. It's kind of like creamy. I'm wondering if it's actually like done. Let me try it. As long as the rice is not hard, I'm good. Mm -hmm. hmm. And the rice is cooked. All right, so now I'm going to set it aside and let it cool down. All right, so the rice has cooled down, and so now I can put the cilantro in where it won't like cook the cilantro down, and it stopped being like kind of like, uh, you know, watery or whatever, not actually looks like, you know, rice rice. But it tastes so good, you can actually taste that coconut milk, that's exactly what I wanted. Love it! Alright, so now time to add the cilantro, the lime, and a little bit more salt. Alright guys, so my fish is almost done, so it's time to finish up this rice. Alright, so the cilantro goes in. The lime, which is half the lime. And 
And I'm just going to do one, I don't want to put too much more salt, but just a little bit more to kind of enhance the flavor of the new ingredients added onto here. Mix everything together. Oh, look at that. That's the finished product. It's looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and taste it. Alright, so now it's time to taste it. Mmm. Oh my god. <laughs> That is so good. Like you can taste all the components that I put in here. You can taste that coconut. You can taste the cilantro. And you can taste that lime. That's exactly what I wanted. Hmm. Well, this is officially a clunker on this rice. I'm gonna see how the fish tastes, and then see how it tastes together. Well, for this particular section of the rice, thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time.